So today I am here with an empties video because I haven't done one of these in quite a while. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with empties videos, basically I go through all the things that I've used up so I can throw them away because apparently that's a normal thing with people who make beauty videos that they hoard their trash. <laughs> So we'll start with my most recent finished product, and that is my Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. Yeah, I, I just finished it today. I'll probably buy the Lush Sea Spray, although I, I, I really do like this one. It's just more expensive. It's lasted me probably close to two years. I mean, I there's a good chance I'll repurchase this just because I really, really like it. And uh, I mean, it's not that expensive for how long it lasts. I really, really enjoyed it, and I'm sad that it's gone. Bioderma. I already bought a new one. I already mentioned that in uh, my over-caffeinated vlog thing when I mentioned that I got a new one from Essentiel. If you're in the U.S. and you've always wanted to try this, Essentiel.com. I'll put a link below. Um, the shipping takes about two weeks at least, so it is a bit of a, a wait, but it's coming from the U.K., so that makes sense. Otherwise, you can get it in the U.K. and in Canada. I'm obsessed with this product so much. I ran out of this a really long time ago, but I never actually put it in an empties video. And I figure since I really, really did like it a lot, I might as well mention it. This is the Dr. Jart Premium Beauty Balm, um, SPF 45. I got this with Birchbox points like a year and a half ago. It's it's all gone. All, all of it's gone. It was like 39 bucks at least. So it is quite expensive, but I really, really liked it. I. I probably won't repurchase it just because it was expensive and I used points for it. But if I ever get like freebie points, I'll probably get it. I have so many more of these masks, but I figured I'd mention um, Catastrophe Cosmetic is my favorite face mask from Lush. But I've used up so many pots of Catastrophe Cosmetic, it's kind of ridiculous. So I'll definitely repurchase these because, yeah, like duh. I did finish out, uh, finally, a pot of Ultra Bland a little while ago. I have already repurchased a new pot of it. Um, I love Ultra Bland so much, you guys. Like, if you have dry, sensitive skin, eczematic, psoriasis, flaky skin, this is my lord and savior, holy grail, um, deep cleanser. I fucking love it. I, ugh, so good. And then Celestial Moisturizer. I really, really love Celestial. It's still my favorite moisturizer. I started using Skin Shangri-La for a while, which I love the feeling of it on my skin, but I feel like it might have been breaking me out just because of how many ingredients are in it, and I am so ridiculously sensitive. So I'm just gonna stick with Celestial for now just because it's worked for me, and my skin has cleared up immensely since I started just using this, the Bioderma, and the Celestial. So those are good combo if you're super duper sensitive and reactive to things. Because literally the ingredient list on these things are so damn short. I did finish up a pot of Blousey. Um, this is the first shampoo I actually finished from work. I did finish up a... A container of Happy Happy Joy Joy and American Cream, but I have since thrown those bottles away and those are still my favorite conditioners that I actually mix together. Blousey is one of my favorite shampoos from work. It is the color safe one. If you have recently dyed your hair and you need a shampoo, Blousey is great. I have already repurchased this because it's in my shower. Another hair product I have finished up recently is Chuan Wen Moi. I love this hair mask. I will definitely repurchase it. I have a pot of Marilyn in my bathroom. This one has a shorter shelf life because it does have eggs in it. So when you do purchase this, intend to use it within like four months. So this has a four month shelf life where the Marilyn has a 14 month shelf life. But I love it and it makes my hair smell like chai for two days. I did finish out another pot of Dream Cream because I use that thing like I drink coffee. But I did also finish up a pot of Charity Pot. This is the lotion that we donate 100% of the proceeds to charity and it smells like chocolate. If you like a cocoa buttery lotion, cocoa buttery scent, if you just really like charity, like this is just awesome. Like the only other thing I've ever heard where all of the proceeds go to a charity is the MAC Viva Glam program for the MAC AIDS Fund. But I really love the Charity Pot because it is such a huge like pool of different charities. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you ever hear about like grassroots charities in your local area or from anyone specifically, you can always email Lush and go on the website and like recommend charities. But there's a ton of charities on the website that you can look at and um, and and recommend or whatever. So basically out of all of those products, I will be repurchasing all of them except the Dr. Jart. 
I do a lot of research before buying my things these days, and so I don't ever buy anything if I know that I'm not gonna love it. So those are all the things that I've recently used up and I get to now throw away. And let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. I figured I had a huge pile of shit lying around and I was like, I could make it an empties video and tell you guys what I think about things that I have since used up. But today's song of the day, oh, uh-huh. Yeah, today's song of the day, I'm telling you, holy shit. Huey Newton from St. Vincent's new record, and oh my god, this record, huh, I, I need to shoot her show next month at the Moor, the Paramount? St. Vincent is like my wife, Annie Clark, marry me, um, she's so badass, shreds and has the best style, can pull off silver gray hair, like nobody else, and that song is just my jam. <sighs> oh, also, fuck, I forgot to mention in my last video, I reached 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you to everyone who has ever given me any sort of shout out, and anybody who has ever, like, helped me in any way, shape, or form get to this point. The other day I was having a really, really shitty day. Then I got to 10,000 subscribers and it made it all better. And then like We Are Scientists was streaming their album and then it made it all even better. I am eternally grateful for all of you guys for being here and for sticking with me through thick and through thin. I love you guys. And this is crazy. I also thank Wonderly because Wonderly is fucking awesome. That is the end of this video. <laughs> I'm so scatterbrained. Empties, St. Vincent. 10,000! Love you guys, and I will see you on Saturday. Bye!